Good morning, everybody. The Rev here. Welcome to a cup of coffee with Jesus. Some good coffee. We're uh, continuing on what the Lord gave me for a chapter of Proverbs a day for 30 days. Today is 27 days into it. So, of course, we're going to uh, go over a few scriptures in chapter 27. But I encourage you to go back and read all of chapter 27 of Proverbs because there are just so many amazing scriptures in it. It is incredible. So I'm going to start off today with uh, verse 5. Uh, Better is an open rebuke than love that is concealed. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but deceitful are the kisses of an enemy. What this is saying is like, if you are really a friend of somebody, that it is better for you to tell them the things that you see in them that are, that are off than to conceal them and just tell them the things that they want to hear. Because just telling them that the things that they want to hear, those are actually deceitful kisses. Because I don't want you to just tell me the things that I want to hear. Of course, everybody likes to hear those things. And we don't like to hear the things that are off in us. But guess what? Those are the things that are iron that sharpens iron. Is when your friend actually comes to you and says, Hey, I noticed something that's off in you. Do you want to talk about it? Do you want to discuss it? Because the things are like, Oh, yeah, you're doing great. You look hair, your 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 hair looks great, this looks great, your smile is awesome, all these things, but guess what? Your life is absolute poop, and they don't want to tell you about it because they don't want to offend you. I want my friends to sharpen me like I want to sharpen my friends because it is true that iron sharpens iron. I even had a, a mentor of mine that he called me up and told me, he said, hey, you gave a you gave a, a, a word picture the other day and he goes, that's not actually correct. And I'm like, what? And it was, <laughs> and you know, what? it was such a beautiful moment because there was never anything in him other than he's like, hey, I don't want you to say something that's not 100% correct. And he even gave me a story about when he was a young preacher that he had preached a message and he said something about scripture that wasn't correct. And he said that that pastor came to him and said, hey, that wasn't exactly correct. And he said, you know, I learned from it. And he said he used that analogy in him to help me in what I had done. So everybody needs to have friends that they to, they can trust them enough that even in the times of the, of correcting and the rebuke, that they know it's in love and it's to better them and not to harm them. Because a deceitful kiss doesn't help me at all. And it will not help you at all. I promise you. Another one is uh, oil and perfume make the heart glad. So is a man's counsel is sweet to his friends. Saying the same thing. The counsel that you give to a friend is sweet. Just like the fragrance of oil and perfume that makes a heart glad. It is helpful to a friend for you to help them with the counsel that you can give them. We go on down to verse 21. The crucible is for silver and the furnace for gold. And each is tested by the praise according him. This is saying the same thing. That's like the crucible and the furnace. They burn the impurities or bring float the impurities to the top so they can be skimmed off to make the silver and the gold pure. That's the same thing that during your testing, that the praise that you produce during your testing is what's going to help purify you during those troubled times. Because it's our praise that sends the enemy packing. It's our worship that sends him away. So even during your tough, troubled times, there is a praise according you. So let it be heard in the midst of the test and the trial. In Jesus' name. I thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by a cup of coffee with Jesus. I can just encourage you to go back and read all of chapter 27 and continue the rest of this if you're just joining in and circle back around and read all the chapters of Proverbs. They're all just a short read and they are incredible insight to how you should live life. 
I thank you for, again for stopping by. And just remember, as always, here at A Cup of Coffee with Jesus, that I love you, Jesus loves you, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. I hope you have a great day reading the Proverbs. See you soon. Goodbye.